Hello, my name is Jacob, and I'm a Thompson Gazelle. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, what us gazelles do in the wild, what our preferences are, um, what it's like to be a gazelle, really, and what we do to embrace it, and our current problems that we're facing. So I live in a hot, dry savanna in desert within Africa. And since I live in such a hot, humid, dry environment, my ancestors had actually uh, evolved and developed smaller hearts and livers. So therefore we require uh, less oxygen, so we breathe less and we lose less water, which is a great adaptation. But that's not my greatest uh, defensive mechanism. My greatest is actually my bolt of speed. And yes, I said it, it's my bolt of speed. And I have some great evasive maneuvers. So when I'm threatened, I actually have a bounding leap and all four of my feet leave the air. And what this does is it kind of sends a warning signal to all my friends of what's going on. Is there a predator nearby? And it also helps me get some more speed initially to run away from the predators. So starting out, I can achieve a speed of up to 60 miles per hour, but that's not my strong suit. I'm not a sprinter, I'm a distance runner. And I can actually sustain a speed, a constant speed of 30 to 40 miles per hour. But just as humans, like I said, we get tired. And after a while, our speed drops. So on a normal day, and you kind of got the idea of my defensive mechanisms, but on a normal day, I just enjoy grazing around, you know, eating some grass, some leaves. And if I really want to treat myself, I'll eat some shoots off plants. Like I said, if that's really when I, when I want to treat myself. Although a lot of different species crave water, us gazelles, we don't really rely on it that heavily. Uh, we can actually go for longer periods of time without water than your typical uh, prey or predator species. So after eating, I like to go and hang out with friends. And most of the time I'm caught in packs that are 10 to 30 um, gazelles at a time. But I've actually been a part of packs up to 700 gazelles. Yes, it was definitely wild. So typically we meet up with friends and uh, we'll run around in packs and typically we call them clumped packs or also known as a bachelor's herd if we're typically males. And so clumped is pretty much just running around together, searching for resources or using uh, this for protection. And many organisms do this uh, for protection, gathering resources, so on and so forth. It's actually very beneficial. And I know what you're thinking that's kind of ruthless going around in the middle of a pack. I mean, you're kind of sacrificing your friends, but they would do the same thing to me. So we do it and we have fun doing it. So what, have, what are us gazelles afraid of? I mean, we have great speed, we have our um, evasive maneuvers, we have some great keen of smell. What are we afraid of? And I want to tell you what we're afraid of. We have many predators, but nothing like the cheetah. They can run up to 70 miles per hour, 70, in three seconds. That's, if some of you humans have sports cars, that's faster than a typical sports car starting out. Yes, they are super fast. Cheetahs have evolved to become extremely flexible in the spine, and they're actually able to rotate at angles to the point that the front and hind legs overlap. So they're extremely fast. They make us gazelles even appear to be slow. Even impacts our keen smell or evasive maneuvers is not enough to escape the speed of this predator. So, however, my species has slowed, or excuse me, has showed adaptation to the cheetah's tendencies and we have developed anti-predator responses. And you may be thinking, what are you talking about an anti-predator response? Well, cheetahs like to sneak up. They like to use cover to dash out and catch their prey. So like I said, we're marathon runners. In the long run, we can beat a cheetah, but a cheetah is a sprinter. So they use the cover to their advantage. And I'm gonna show you a diagram here. So here at the bottom, this is a very dense brush grass that cheetahs typically like to use. But over the many years, we had developed our anti-predator tendencies or behaviors, and we like to pick things that have a very open uh, environment. So here we have a lake, we have just short grass, so we're able to use our vision uh, to better assist us and prevent being ambushed. So, 
we are avoiding the tendencies. What we also have done is we have evolved um, different hooves. So instead of having almost parallel hooves, we've actually adapted curved hooves. And you'd be wondering, well, why would you want curved hooves? Well, one thing is it gives us better traction. And so we're actually able to dig down into the dirt better and therefore we're able to get better initial traction and better speed. We're also able to dig up into the ground a little bit to hide our undercoat. So a Thompson uh, Gazelle actually has a white and a uh, black streak that runs across its body. And I took a picture of myself if you'd like to see it. This is a picture of myself. And you can see the white and the black here, which actually can be pretty easy to see by predators. So if we're able to use our hooves to dig down into the earth, we can hide that underlay. Therefore, we're able to better camouflage ourselves. Here's the last diagram I want to show you, and it's showing an illustration of what I'm saying. Here is before what my ancestors had. It's a kind of a parallel looking hoof compared to something that is more curved. And here's the bottom where we're showing that we actually have more traction that can dig down into the earth and we're able to get that better initial speed. And we're also able to dig up in the earth, hide that undercoat, undercoat much like deer do uh, nowadays, hide from predators. So these few adaptations to summarize everything have allowed me to do one of three things. One, avoid being ambushed, which is a common uh, predator behavior or tendency from the cheetahs. Two, it helps me stay camouflaged by being able to dig down and kind of hide my undercoat. And three, finally, I'm able to run and stabilize myself more efficiently. So hopefully, those pesky cheetahs doesn't discover our ways and ruin our very way of life.